Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. For those of you guys that are new, ow, <laughs> what in the talons? I'm trying out some new nails because my natural nails have been damaged because of picking at them. I um, picked at my gel polish and it destroyed the nail bed of my natural nails. So now I'm just trying to kind of let on them breathe before I go back and try and regrow them back out. So if you guys don't know, I have actually been in the moving process of like getting a second place out here in LA. I am finally settled in. That's probably why you guys see my background is a little bit different. The background that I have in Dallas, I wasn't able to move everything as smoothly as I thought it was gonna go. Kind of went and got the same stuff that I had in my old background at home in Dallas. If you guys have been wondering why the uploads have been a little bit like once a week or something like that, it's because I have been struggling trying to get settled in. Then we went to fashion week and I got terribly sick like it was so bad oh my god it was so bad it was the worst stomach pain I've ever experienced and it felt like with everything that I was eating I would get sick and even more sick and then sometimes I wouldn't even eat and it would still be hurting so I figured something was wrong with my diet so I did a big like massive change with my diet thankfully it hasn't happened yet but I am so afraid of it coming back but anyways so today I am going to be talking about something that I actually saw on Twitter and it was like that scoop of, I don't even know how to pronounce it so I'm not even gonna butcher it one of those things and it said dark skin and then someone actually retweeted it and if I can find the tweet the original tweet that I saw I'll try and include it in here they said they only love us online so it got me to start thinking is the representation that we're slowly finally getting online is it translating offline are we starting to feel good about ourselves offline and in real life anyways so that's what I'm gonna be talking about today doing a little bit of a like get ready with me situation I'm probably not gonna talk about all the products that I'm using but everything will be down below in the description box for all of you guys that are wondering let's get started going in with some eye cream I'm using the Kiehl's creamy avocado eye treatment if you have really dry under eyes like I do this is a really good like thing to use underneath your eyes I'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer. I think it's a concealer brush from Beauty Blender. Well, I use it to blend out my concealer. It has a brush side and then it has like a little rolly, rolly ball side. I like to use it when I'm putting on the eye cream. It feels so good. I am one of those people that suffers from puffy eyes. If you are one of those people, the cold roller ball gel just feels so good and it does help to de-puff. This was such a good idea from Beauty Blender. I love it. It feels so good. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Primer. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I actually wanted to do a review on this foundation, but there's just been so much going on that I was just like, I'm just gonna try it. I didn't give you guys a full on review on this foundation, so that's why I wanted to use it today. It's actually pretty bomb. The shade match is pretty good. This is the shade 90 CB, and I'm just putting that around the perimeter. And then I'm gonna take the shade 91 WR, which is a little bit lighter. I'm gonna put that in the center of my face. Spray this down. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's supposed to help plump, do some things with fine lines. It's really good actually. And I just spray it on there because it helps with my foundation. This match is so good. I just wanted to talk about dark skin representation and if it's translating offline as well. So as you guys know, or most of you guys probably know by now, my high school experience was not the best whatsoever. It was a very trying time for your girl. I actually graduated high school early. It was just that bad. Like <laughs> it was that bad. I hardly made any friends in high school. I was just a shy girl. I still can't believe sometimes that I'm doing what I'm doing considering how shy I used to be. I still kind of am a little shy though. Not everybody in high school is evil. There's people that just like leave people alone and mind their business. And then there's people that get off on or try and make themselves feel better by coming after other people. And unfortunately, you know, your girl was one of those. And I did not have a good high school experience at all. Most of it kind of stemmed around my skin tone. Actually, all of it stemmed around my skin tone. Yeah, <laughs> all of it stemmed around my skin tone. I was usually either the darkest or one of the darkest people in the school. I'm usually, that's usually the case for me almost everywhere I go, except when I go to church or when I'm with my family, but then, you know, we're all dark skinned, so. <laughs> with that, I've experienced the downside of like being dark skinned 
before the representation now experiencing it with all the representation that we are getting not all but like we are starting to get um this is the urban decay stay naked concealer in the shade 90 and and now i'm using the shade 90 wr from the urban decay concealer as well this concealer is actually really good. This foundation is bomb. We've seen society change a lot, and I think it's by it's by force, actually. <laughs> Not even I think. And it's happened by force, by fire. Like, literally, we've forced way, our way into having our um, skin tone represented and having our beauty represented. It's crazy because just a few short years ago, we were not having this conversation about diversity and beauty and like representation. And um, it was just not, the conversation was just not on the level that it is now, like at all. This is the Too Faced. Born This Way setting powder. I'm just like lightly dusting it all over where I put my concealer. And this is a Morphe M532 brush. If you like look back three years ago, that's actually why I started my foundation series um, because I was so irritated at the fact that these companies were just like acting like we didn't exist, acting like we didn't wear makeup. The whole, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, you don't need makeup. Mm, okay, well that's nice. Just because I don't need it doesn't mean that I shouldn't have the option to use it. My first foundation review. It hasn't even hit three years yet. It's getting really close hitting three years, but it's just so crazy to think about. It's only been in like the last like few years that we've had like major changes. It feels like almost such a staple now in the beauty industry that whenever a, found a company comes out with a foundation range or like anything complexion related and the shade range is just dismal, the first thing people look for is like, is it gonna be deep enough? Is it gonna work for all skin tones? Is it gonna represent for all skin tones? And it's just honestly so crazy to think about it now. I just still can't believe it. Like I can't believe little old me was able to like have this much of an impact in an industry that I felt like I was not supposed to be a part of. So it's just crazy. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to, okay? <laughs> We're getting off topic, but yeah. I'm happy that it is trending because it made actual changes, but I also don't like to call it trendy because like it's not trendy like trends go come and go it, this is just like if you are a deeper skin tone person you're gonna be dark skin forever I have a love and hate relationship with that like whole trendy thing I'm setting my face now I mixed together the Fenty nutmeg which is this shade it's a little bit too light for my under eyes um, but the undertone is there and I mixed it with the Pat McGrath labs powder ah. and this one is like the depth is great, but it's a little too red for me to just use alone underneath my eyes. So I mix those two together and I it's literally perfection. It's so good. I'm using a small sponge and I'm gonna set underneath my eyes with this. So pretty. Now I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face with the Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control to kind of just chisel out my face a little bit more. I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. It's not really gonna do what I need it to do to like really fully contour. It helps with almost setting the rest of my face. Let's go in with the Prime Beauty Bronzer. I'm gonna do a little reverse contour. This is the Pure So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down and then do my brows off camera, and then we'll come back and do the eyes and finish our little talk. I just did my brows off camera. I've actually been using the new Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil, and then I use like this hourglass, I think it's an eyeliner, but I use it as a brow <laughs> pencil. That was the Anastasia Brow Gel. For eyes, I've got the new ABH Norvina Collection Volume 2 palette. It actually looks pretty fire. I'm not gonna, like, what? This looks so 
good and look how big this mirror is like it's insane oh you guys can see my monitor but look how big this mirror is it's insane i'm gonna try and talk about the shades that i'm using if i don't then you guys know why don't judge me let's go into the shade e4 right here i'm trying to decide if that should be a transition shade or if that's gonna be too dark for a transition shade depends on how it blends out what do we think uh, maybe too dark for a transition shade, but I'm just gonna put it right there anyways. That's actually a really pretty shade. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, back to what we were talking about, representation and is it trickling offline how we want it to. The main desire for representation is to have us all feeling good about ourselves and have us feel like our voices can be heard. Do I feel like the representation is translating offline? Right now, I do think that it is definitely going in the right direction. Back when I was younger with the no representation, not really seeing anyone that looked like me, it was kind of like hard to kind of envision myself in certain places that I did want to occupy and certain spaces that I wanted to be in. There is a fine line between representation and fetishizing if that's a word is a fetishization fetishizing fetishize fetishizing whatever but you guys know what i'm trying to say i do think there is a fine line between that and i do feel like there are people or there it has gone to a point in certain instances and occasions which is not cute at all but representation is so important and you know why i have two stories that i want to tell you guys my dad's a pastor i'm pretty sure a few of you guys know by now or don't know but my dad's a pastor and so each summer we would do vacation bible school and I think at this point I had gotten to a point where I was old enough or too old to like be a participant, but I was old enough to like lead a, like a group or whatever. So like I was like, they needed volunteers to lead and I was like always like down because vacation Bible school is fun. It was actually really fun. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm going into the shade C5. The crazy thing is I got my students right and I had gotten all of them almost like checked in and like in the row that they needed to be in because like we're obviously in the chapel or in the church so there's pews and stuff. So I got my students and then the last student that I got was this little boy. He was just... <laughs> I'm sorry, this story makes me laugh so much. But he was just like, you could, the way that he acted once he saw me you could tell how like small his world was and how like he almost like i don't want to use sheltered because sheltered can be a good thing and a bad thing sometimes but you could just tell that like he his world was small so he comes into class right and he comes into the chapel and they tell him like i'm his group leader or whatnot and he instantly turns around to his mom and he's like, mom, why is her skin black? And I was just like, ma'am. <laughs> I was like, ma'am, you need to tell me your kid has never seen a black person? Never? I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> And he was like so genuinely scared and like whatnot. And I was just like, that is crazy. Like crazy. Like I was just like, wow. Like he, and he was like six or something like that. He was pretty young. And it was just insane. If I had a choice to work with kids, I'm only working with the babies. Like I don't have time for these like grown preteen thinking that uh -uh, I got time for that. That that they're too much. Like they think they know it all. Like no, you don't know nothing. Okay. <laughs> So I always worked with like little kids. Like I'm pretty good with kids. Although like right now I'm in no headspace whatsoever to have kids. I just don't want kids at all. But yeah, I was just like, you haven't socialized your child. And it sounds so crazy to say it like that because Anthony was actually like talking to me about it. He's like, yeah, like even with like, cause we have two big golden doodles. And like the first thing we looked up was you have to socialize your dogs because they're gonna be afraid of everything. And like, they're not gonna know. And then like, they're gonna react out of fear and react out of like aggression because of the fact that they don't know things. So like we knew that they were gonna be bigger dogs. So we immediately went into like socializing them and like understanding like we didn't want them to be aggressive dogs or anything like that. So that's what I mean by like, you didn't socialize your child like you haven't socialized your child and I understand like at that point in time they're young they're small but that was just like one of the experiences it's like 
it's crazy. This is why representation is so important. Like, even if you don't like let your child go out of the house, like maybe you let them watch video games or play video games or play TV. And like almost all the characters are always white or like everyone on their screen's white or everyone at the school's white or whatever it is. It's just like crazy. I was just like, wow, like this kid has not been out like <laughs> at all. So that's what I'm taught. That's what I mean by like representation is so important. Maybe I'll go blue. Should I go blue? That yellow though. These shadows are like super pigmented, okay? There's a lot of blues. It's kind of steering me in that direction. So, okay. Okay, Norvina. All right, we see. We see what you're here for. The other thing that happened to me recently though too is it was actually during Essence Fest earlier this year. I was at Essence Fest, I was like on a panel. This was my first time at Essence Fest. Long story short, we had to walk back to where our car was parked because traffic was crazy. So we were walking back to where our, our driver parked the car because he was like, if I try and get in there, it'll take me longer to get in there. You, you can walk to me. It'll be faster for you to walk to where I am. And I was like, that's fine, I guess. You know, I'm wearing um, um, Louboutins and you know, I don't know about that, but I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess that's better than just waiting around here. So I was like, okay, fine. Like I'll try and make the walk. And like, I had Anthony there with me. It was a mistake. It was hot as hell. It was, I was sweating. It was nasty. I was just like, oh my God. And my feet started hurting. I was just like, why did I say yes? <laughs> so we're walking over to the car and like, there's a, like a security lady. I think she was a police officer. I'm not sure, but, um, she might have just been security, I'm not sure. She was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And I was like, hi. Um, I was like, yes. And she's like, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. She's like, do you mind if I take a picture of you? And I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> I mind you at this time like I'm like drenched like I'm sweating like nasty like it's not cute I'm trying to get to the car hoping no one sees me so I don't have to take a picture because I look gross so I was just like oh I like I like hesitate and she's like I want to take a picture of you for my daughter and I was just like well that's nice of you you're such a good mommy and she's like yeah she's dark skinned like you and like she gets made fun of all the time and like um she she feels like she she feels like she's not beautiful and I want to take your picture and show it to her and she just sorry guys and she just starts talking and as she's talking she's starting to cry and I'm just like stop because if you start crying in my face I will start crying and then we both gonna be crying and it's not gonna be cute and <laughs> so obviously I start getting teary-eyed and I'm just like oh my god please don't cry I was like hey let me just like dab off my face a little bit so I can actually look somewhat decent and like you can take this picture and show it to her and tell please tell her um what a good mommy you have um she has because she like cares about like it's just so sweet I just thought it was the sweetest thing ever and I don't think she knew who I was either I think she was just like oh wow she was like I just want to take a picture of you because you look so beautiful and like my daughter she doesn't like feel good about herself but it's like I want to show her this picture I want to show her this picture of you because you own your skin tone and like you love yourself and this and this and that and I was just like don't do that we're not crying today okay I'm already sweaty like we're not crying <laughs> so that's just what I mean by like representation is so important and like having it trickle into real life is even more important just based off the messages that I do get um, on a daily I think people are starting to feel good about themselves they're starting to love themselves especially young black women it's an amazing thing to see especially now like with uh, platforms like Chrissy and Paris Milan and Iami Loho I watch her as well it's just those platforms are so necessary as well I'm going in with D1 it's like this pretty shimmer shade oh that's nice Okay, Norvina, you were not playing, sis. Like, you were not playing. For the inner corner, I'm going into A4. It looks purple, but it's kind of like gold. It has a gold shift. There wasn't really much fallout, but I'm gonna dust away. Oh crap, 
put too much. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Lifeline. And then I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Fetishize Mascara. Battery timed out, but I'm gonna show you guys what I used. I pretty much was almost done anyways. I did blush off camera. I used the Milani Baked Blush, this one right here. And then I used the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam Palette, this one right here. You guys already know how much I love this palette. I've used it a lot on my channel. And let's see if I can get these earrings in with these hella long nails. Oh my God. Oh, okay. This is actually difficult. Let me find out. You guys like my necklace? Anthony just got it for me. It's so cute. And I just got my cuff. Oh, I haven't told you guys about it. I got my cuff, finally. I wanted this cuff for like so long now that I was impatient one time and I did all of them at once and <laughs> it was a fail. I did them slowly this time. I did two to three at a time and I got it now, finally. So cute, I love these earrings. For lips, I'm just gonna use this Sephora Collection Melting Lip Flick in the shade Creme Brulee. This is the perfect color for the bold eye. This palette is fire, okay? So good. I can't wait to play with the rest of the colors in the shade. The pigmentation is great. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So if you guys like these kind of videos, just let me know. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you have not done so already, make sure you are subscribed. Turn on your notifications and join the family. That's pretty much it for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time. I look like I'm about to go referee somebody's soccer game. I mean, it's a cute outfit. What do you guys think? Let me get up. Let me show y'all. It's a cute outfit, okay? She's cute, but I really do look like I'm about to go and referee somebody's soccer game. It's a cute little fit. These are shorts.